Bashley. Okay, let's go. How are you? How are you I'm, doing? I'm, I'm, I'm amazing. amazing. How, are you? how are you? I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> I'm great. Tell me, how come you are in Russia, in Moscow? I'm in... Honestly, I'm in, I'm in Moscow because um, I'm in love with a woman. Wow, that's great. That's a great re reason. <laughs> it is, it is. And, um, is it your first time? No, I, I've been here... Um, I think I've been in Moscow like six maybe six times mm -hmm. and it, and it's every time it, it gets longer and longer like I was here for a couple of days then it was like a week or two then it was like you know I, I, I've been here for um, probably like more than a month now well, so like so every time it gets it gets longer and longer do you speak Russian? Um, yes yeah <laughs> <laughs> no problem and then um, how many have, like what are your impressions what do you think about Moscow? I think I think I, I, I love Moscow I think uh, everything about it is is, is great um, you know what I really like I like the subways you like the subways because they're beautiful because the trains come every two. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. And, and, yeah, and, and, and in New York, in New York, in, in the subways, you have to wait, um, you can wait 20 minutes, 25 minutes for a train and, and be just mad. I didn't know that. But also in Europe, you know, you have to wait for a long, for long time, like five minutes, ten minutes, sometimes in here, it's just, it's great. It's, it's, it's great. <laughs> the train, so you can never be late. The train, the train's great. Yeah, well, that's true. You can't be late. And women, of course. One woman. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What about uh, how do you like? Do you like to play here? How do you? I do. I do. I like. As um, a musician, how do you feel? Here? You know, actually, I, I've been here. Um, I've been here a while. Like, uh, I was just in. I was just in Rome doing some things, but um, I've been here for a while, and I, I've played almost every day. Really. And I like. I like as a musician. I like to play every day. And uh, I like that I get to play with different musicians and the same musicians again. And um, there aren't a whole lot of clubs here, mm -hmm. but it's it's, it's it's no different than, than New York. You know, there's um, we're at the great uh, Mr. Igor Boomin's club, and there's Kozlov, and there's uh, the Jam Club, and there's um, SA, and um, it's like a, it's like a it's like a circle. Yeah, I, know I really like I, li I like playing. And how do you practice? Do you do, do where do you where do you do that, and what do you prefer to? Do? I do it at home, but uh, I mean, as a trumpet player, I have to practice it a lot. Mm -hmm. There's no getting around it. Like it's it's a very physical instrument. It's very demanding on this, on your mouth, and um, so I, I mean, I, I practice it a lot. And where do you prefer? I mean, is at home only? You like the perfect place for you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I practice at home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I just, I just try to get ready for, for, for when I, when I, when I, when I play in, uh, in public. Okay. And what is jazz for you? Uh oh. <laughs> what is jazz for me? Yeah. Jazz is um, expressing yourself. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. How would you describe it to someone who's never listened to it? Um, I would describe it like this. So, jazz is basically you, you have a melody with chords and a form. And you play the melody and then you improvise over the chords and the form, over the melody. Mm -hmm. And the sound. And the sound. The sound is, 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 um, is what you're feeling at the moment.
you're feeling if you're feeling happy, you might play something very happy. Mm -hmm. If you're if you're sad, you can play. And and, and the, the great thing about jazz is that you can express yourself through the music. So if if I'm sad, I can express myself being sad. If you if you're very happy or you're, so, you're, you're excited, you can play a lot of notes. If you're if you if you want to be um, whatever whatever emotion you're feeling, you, you can express it through music, and that's what I, I love about it. Mm -hmm. And uh, to how many countries have you been by by now? Countries, at least thirty. At least thirty. What is your favorite place? Any where you what do you like to play? Maybe. Is there any? That, that's, that's, that's hard. I have a lot of favorite countries for different reasons. Any names? I like Russia, though. <laughs> you know, you know, Russia was um, the first time I ever went outside the United States um, from was um, I went to Siberia with um, Benny Golson mm -hmm. when I was very young. That's the first time, How my first time. I was... I had to be like 21, or 22, something mm -hmm. like that. It was a long time ago. And, uh, you know, Novoskusnes, and I, I can't say it right, Novoskusnes. No, no, right, 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 you can say it right. <laughs> or Irkutsk. You know, I can't say it right, but I loved it. I loved it. And, um, yeah, mm -hmm. that was my first time. Bacal Lake. Is it beautiful? Never very, been there. very, very. Bacal Lake is, 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 uh, is very, is very great. You were there in the winter. No, it was uh, it was it was April. I remember it was April, so it wasn't too too cold. It wasn't hot. So it was perfect. Yeah, it was, it was nice. It was nice. Okay, and uh, how do you? What what about people here? I love the people here. I think They're very positive. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, I think I think I think um, if you if you look at, at Look to the uh, the good side of people, and you enjoy the positivity of people. That's better, you know. Any place you prefer here in Moscow? Any like maybe bar or any street, anything you like? At home. At home. <laughs> okay. I like home. I like home. How many hours a day do you do you have to practice, or do you try to practice? Um. Ideally, it it, sh it should be at least. Mm -hmm. Two, three, four hours. Mm -hmm. But lately, I haven't been. I've been practicing a lot. But also, like, th there's um, there's different types of practice. Like, you can listen to music, and if you if you're good li really listening to music, that's practicing. If you're playing the piano, even though I'm a trumpet player, that's practicing. If you're, um, there's, there's lots of different types of practice. Do you ever get tired of it? Of music, right? Yeah. Yeah, sometimes. And do you have a break, or what do you do? <laughs> I um, I like to uh, I like to walk around and listen to music. Is that is that a break from music? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really right. Well. But uh, uh -huh. but I like uh, I like I like to do um, music is my life. I don't really I don't really get. Do you like tired silence then? Was that? Silence. Do you like silence? Mm, I do not. Do you do not? Okay. I don't. Mm -hmm. Silence scares me sometimes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you probably don't like to be on your own as well. But 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 I mean as as a, um, as a jazz musician or whatever whatever that means, um, a break from break from music can be listening to other styles of music. Mm -hmm. What are other styles then? <laughs> oh, like like I was listening to um, I was listening to Al Green today. Mm -hmm. I love Al Green. Mm -hmm. I, I've lived there for a long time, and I saw him. I saw him live one time, and uh, it was great. And I, I also love um, classical music. For example, what? Uh, uh, oh, so much. Actually, I think uh, the Russian composers are the best. Really? Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> I, I really do. Shostakovich, the. Um, Everyone, you know, everyone named Shostakovich. Every, everyone. He's amazing. <laughs> He's amazing. He's so amazing. No one says Stravinsky, for example. What? Well, well, <laughs> well. Stravinsky is is, is a, uh, I don't like to use the word genius, but he's amazing. 
and um, Scree Allen mm-hmm. and um, Alfred Schnicky, who probably people don't really talk about too much. Yeah. But um, very you know kind of like avant garde almost and like uh, I like I like I like a lot of different types of music. I like Bella Bartok. Mm-hmm. He's not Russian. No, he's not. I know. <laughs> And um, uh, do you go to the concert? How do you prefer to listen to music? On my headphones. Mm-hmm. Okay. And and that's and that actually that that's kind of like my um, my my silence, my solitude. It's like I, I love to just sit and I like to walk around and listen to music. You know, Moscow is a beautiful city, especially downtown here. Like the buildings are beautiful. It's not like in, in, the, in New York. I don't think the buildings are beautiful in New York. I don't think New York is beautiful. It smells like garbage. So you don't like New York? No, I love New York. But it's, it's not, it's not a, a, a beautiful city. You know, I think Moscow is a beautiful city. Thank you. Yeah, yeah I think Very it nice. is. And I, I love the buildings. And I, like, I just like walking around and, and listening to music and having my headphones and being in my own, in my own place and just being... A, a human being and, and listen to music. And um, I read also that you, you you got hooked by music when you were ten, right? When, yeah. When very young. When, yeah. when I, and where did it happen? If you if you remember, well, well, what was it? Okay, so it's, it's kind of a long story, not not too long, but I'll tell you the short version. Okay. My my dad was a my dad was a drummer, right? So but um, and he he used to do um drum corps, which is like kind of like a, a professional a professional marching band. But it's a lot it's a lot more involved than that, right? And he was a drummer, he played snare drum and, and bass drum, whatever drums. So it runs in the family. Right. right. But so 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 he used to take me to to shows to see um the different the different drum corps and um I used, from the time I can remember I used to go to these shows. And it's amazing. The DCI, I hope they're still around. I think they're still around. It's like amazing. Like it's really amazing. The music, the music, uh, musicality of these of these of these uh, young people. And um, so he used to take me to the things, the shows. And um, so the, his friends, when he was in the jump court, ended up being teachers like the instructors of, of the drum chorus now. So he, we, we always had access to whatever we wanted to, you know, like his, his friends, you know. And so he took me to a rehearsal one time. I remember it was in Shelton, Connecticut. I grew up in Connecticut. It was in Shelton, Connecticut. It was a Connecticut Hurricanes um, senior corps rehearsal. And these are like older guys. Like these are the guys that are older than I say older guys, but they're over twenty one, <laughs> right, or something like that. And so he took me to a rehearsal, and we we listened to the drummers warming up, and like they were, they were playing the whatever they're playing. And then we went into the room with with the brass, and there was like fifty guys playing brass instruments, or sixty, and there's. There's, there's there's low brass, what, what you could consider tuba, up through the trumpet, and they were just playing like a major scale or something, something simple, and I remember the sounds of like sixty guys playing brass instruments, and I thought that was so amazing. I'm like eight years old. Mm-hmm. And I remember the sound of this this immense sound, like like the sound just filled up the whole room and I remember being like in awe of the sound of uh, this brass. And I, I remember telling my dad, I wanna play that high one, the one that's playing the high notes. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, two later two years later, um, my dad uh, 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 bought me uh, uh, a Yamaha student uh, a blessing. That was a blessing. A blessing student trumpet. I remember telling him, like, I went to high note. And, uh, mm-hmm. I, was just, I was just fascinated with the trumpet. I used to like high notes. And, uh, I thought 
one. So you started cool. when you were when you were ten. So that's started, when you were eight. Yeah. So, okay. But I mean, from the time I remember, I, I was I was going to these shows, but I remember going to this rehearsal. The rehearsal was what really wanted me, what made me want to play the trumpet. It's an amazing. It's song. a bugle. It's not really a trumpet, but it's the same thing. You know, basically. It's like, Thank you very much. Thank oh, you very much for this you. interview. And uh, it was uh, Josh Evans. Um, bye. <laughs> bye bye. That's me, Thanks a lot. That's all. <laughs>